A Christmas to treasure will warm hearts this holiday season as six estranged friends reunite for one final hometown holiday treasure hunt. Childhood memories are relived and sparks fly once again between Austin, played by Taylor Fry, and his former best friend, Everett, played by Kyle Dean Massey. Take a look. Ah, they were really cute, huh? I remember once she told my mom that she was grateful. Even though she couldn't have kids, she had us. What do you think Mrs. Marley would have thought about us being gay? Oh, she knew. She what? Yeah, I told her when I came back, but she said she already knew. Said she always knew. <laughs> said she called it when we were both about 12. How did she know? I asked her the same thing. All she said was, I'm old, not blind. <laughs> And real life spouses Kyle Dean Massey and Taylor Fry join us now. Welcome, guys. Hi. Thanks. You know, I've said this a million times on this show, but I just love a holiday movie. I can't get enough of them. So, this is another fun one to watch. And you guys actually met here in New York City on Broadway, but this is the first time you're working together, right? Yeah, it is. I, it, it's crazy. I mean, 15 years of knowing each other, we've never done anything together. So this was, oh the, this was a first. So what was the whole experience like working together? Honestly, it was a blast. It was really cool to see. I know him as a husband and a business partner. Um, I know him as a father. But seeing him do his like his acting thing was pretty interesting. <laughs> it's, it's, a new, it's a new layer. It's a new side. Yeah, I love that. And so, uh, Taylor, there's love, there's friendship, there's a treasure hunt even. Tell us kind of the whole the story here. You know, it really is a classic holiday romance. I know that sounds kind of like a broad stroke and a little cliche. That's but what we want. It is. And it's, it's, it's what everybody wants. Yeah. But more importantly, six friends come back to their hometown to honor the memory of someone who actually passed in their community. And right. You know, it's just a nice reminder that uh, life is short to be present and enjoy people while they're here. You know what? You can always use that reminder, too. We can always all use that reminder. Um, but what do you think it is, Kyle, that makes a great holiday movie? Like, what's the magic sauce? I don't know. I mean, I, when I think of my favorite films, it's usually family and friends coming together, a little drama. But at, the <laughs> end of, but at the end of the day, just being around people that you love for the holidays, I think, you know, that's what gives me the feels, at least. Yeah, me too. And, and we can all relate to things in holiday movies, too, because we've all, all been through, like, the ups and downs of the holidays. Yeah, for sure. And we hopefully all end up on a positive note, like all the holiday movies do. <laughs> but, um, you know, I think we can, you know, be honest in saying that the LGBTQ representation hasn't been what it should have been in, in previous years. But I really think that that's changing. Um, what do you, how did the whole idea for this film come about? You know, we got to give credit to Ninth House and Jake Helgren. He wrote the story. He wanted two male leads that fall in love. You know, this is just one movie of 26 that are made this year by Lifetime, and we're so grateful that they want to present this, but, I, you know, I think we could use a few more. Yeah. You know, especially while other networks are choosing to alienate our stories and not represent us, I think yeah. it's time to really um, kind of activate these films and get them made. Yeah. Um, I know that you had some family support on set, too. We mentioned that you guys are a real-life couple, obviously, yeah. and you, your daughter was on set. I have to, I'm a mom, too, and I feel like if my kids were on set, at a movie, I would be just totally distracted because of the overload <laughs> totally. of cuteness. Totally. But were you able to focus when she was on set? Yeah, you know, it's weird. I, I feel like if she were not there, I, I would be worried about her because she was so young yeah. at the time. So it was really nice that, like, we went as a family to shoot this movie. We shot in Big Bear, California. Yeah. Um, and so we just got a cabin, and we were there for the month that we shot. It was, oh, it was actually really special. Nice. It was. Yeah. Is this her first Christmas? Her second, technically. Her yeah. second. But this is maybe the first one where she's kind of like oh, a little yeah. more yeah. present. She, <laughs> she walks by the Christmas tree and she, she's a tree. So she's, she's oh, getting it. Like, oh, gosh, yeah. she's smart. Yeah, she loves the smart ones. <laughs> well, you're, you're both not only advocates on screen, but, you know, behind the scenes as well. You founded a, a company called Elevate, right? Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, it's an assisted reproduction agency. So we help LGBT couples like us build their families through egg donors and surrogates. We also help a lot of heterosexual people too, but people all over the world. It's an amazing business. Um, there's yeah. nothing like it, you know, helping people achieve their dreams of, of becoming parents. Yeah, and it's like you're just bringing, helping bring joy to other people, which I mean, how rewarding is that? It is. There's a few sleepless nights to be sure. Sometimes I feel like I'm going through IVF like 500 times a year myself, yeah. <laughs> just because you invest in their journeys. And now yeah. that, you know, we started this before we had a child, like some amazing. seven, eight years ago and now that I have her it's very very it's clear yeah I'm, yeah I'm like reinvigorated by the work and I I'm it's amazing yeah well I love that and I loved watching this movie because we can't get enough during the holiday season and you can tune into a Christmas to treasure when it premieres on Lifetime on Friday December 16th at 8 p.m. 7 central